We want to take you now to Cape Canaveral, where SpaceX is launching a Falcon 9 rocket. Let's listen in. and zero. And a liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft packed with science and supplies for the International Space Station, humanity's home in low Earth orbit. And the Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. SpaceX ascent commentary performed by several people. The propulsion Vehicle engineer calls damage. out propulsion events. Avionics engineer calls out avionics health and Dragon separation. The range coordinator calls Air Force satellite control network acquisition and loss of signal. And the ground station specialist calls out the SpaceX antenna acquisition and loss of signal. We are 40 seconds into the flight of the Falcon 9. At one minute, five seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 will reach transonic speed. The vehicle will pass through an area of maximum aerodynamic pressure called Max Q. At one minute, 18 seconds after liftoff, this is the point where mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's vehicle atmosphere. Vehicle supersonic. And the vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And confirmation of max Q. minute, 30 seconds into flight. And the second stage okay, engine chill. chill has begun. Around two minutes, 35 seconds into flight, the nine Merlin engines will sequentially shut down. You'll hear the term MECO, which means mange main engine cutoff. And we just saw SpaceX successfully launch its Falcon 9 rocket out of Cape Canaveral, Florida. That is one of its previously flown Falcon 9. So it is a little bit of recycled hardware, but it was a successful